Hey you guys, it's Peter and welcome to my channel. Peter! Boom, 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 boom. Bam, 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 bam. Review stuff. And I am back for another review video. And today, oh my God, this is gonna be a really fun one today. Um, and it was actually something that I got. I didn't even think when I bought it that I was gonna review it. I just got it for myself. And then I didn't end up eating it last night and it was sitting there on the counter and I thought, I should save this and do a review for this tomorrow. So I will tell you that this is um, coming up on about 24 hours old, but I think it'll be okay. Um, so for those of you that don't watch my vlog, you might not know, but I've literally been door dashing Piata for, um, I don't know, like the last three or four weeks. So Piata, it's called P Piata, and it's P-I-A-D-A, -A, Piata Italian Street Food. And they have like pastas, they have different kinds, like they have four or five different kinds of pastas. It's kind of like um, Chipotle, if you go inside the restaurant, it's kind of like Chipotle. Like you go in and you say, I want a sandwich, or I want like a, a salad, or I want a pasta bowl, and then you can tell them what you want as you go. I don't typically go in. I typically order a DoorDash, and then on the DoorDash, I just tell them what I want, and they bring it. And they also have sandwiches that they call piadas, and they're like wrap sandwiches. The ones I get, the one I get is called the avocado, and it has like avocado, street corn, tomatoes. It has pancetta, which is bacon in it, but I don't get it with bacon because I'm a vegetarian. And um, anyway, it they're delicious. The food is delicious. And so I usually get like some pasta, like yesterday, I got two pastas and two sandwiches, so I would have one tonight for when I get home from my meeting, so I would have something for dinner. But anyway, so my husband and I were coming home from counseling last night, and I was like, are you hungry? Do you want to go get something to eat? And he's like, no, I'm not really hungry. And I was like, okay. And he was like, do you want me to take you somewhere to get something to pick up on the way home? And I was like, well, I'll probably just DoorDash Piata, because I'm like obsessed with the DoorDash now. Um, and he was like, uh, okay. He's like, well, do you want me to take you there? Because it's real close to our house. He's like, do you want me to take you there? Then you don't have to pay for like the service charge and the tip and all that kind of stuff, because DoorDash, I should do a whole review on DoorDash. DoorDash can be kind of expensive. So anyway, but I'm thankful for DoorDash and the people that bring my food are always so nice and I always go down and talk to them for a little bit and all that kind of, so they're just, they're really sweet. So anyway, um, so he, I was like, yeah, sure. If you want to take me to Piata, like I'll go inside and I'll get some food and whatever. So when I'm standing in there. I'm like ordering my food. They were so nice. The people at Piata are just, first of all, let me just tell you at the DoorDash, I literally order my food. And like, as soon as you order it, like it confirms it that they got your order. And then like five minutes later, like literally like five minutes later, I get a text message and it says your order has been picked up by DoorDash and they're like bringing it to my, I, I get it like in 15 minutes. It's crazy. And it's always perfect. There's never been anything wrong with it. It's always the order that I get or that I order. It's like everything has been perfect with it. So anyway, I was in there last night. I was ordering my food. And by the register, because I was thinking like, should I get a drink? Should I not get a drink? They have this hibiscus lemonade. And I was like, should I try the hibiscus lemonade? I don't know. And then I saw this sign and I was like, <gasps> and they have this dessert there. And the dessert is cannoli chips. Okay. And now I have to tell you, it came out. Well, they put it in the bag, but it came out with like this. It just looks like, you know, nacho chips. And then these two little things of cannoli cream that you can see. It's got the little, uh, it's, this light is so bright. I don't know what's going on with it. But it's got like the little things in there for cannoli. Now, I'm not Italian, so I don't know much about cannoli. Uh, but I've had it before. Now, cannoli, if you don't know, look, Google it. But cannoli, I don't know how you would define it or how you describe it. Should I look it up on my phone? Here, I'll look it up on my phone so y'all know. For those of you that are like, I don't know what cannoli is. Oh, holy cannoli. So anyway, because somebody will say, I don't know what cannoli is. So cannoli, hold on a second, looks like this. I don't know if you can see it. And it's usually these round things that have like cream in the middle of it. Cannoli are Sicilian pastries consisting of tube-shaped shells of fried pastry dough filled with a sweet, creamy filling containing ricotta, a staple of Sicilian cuisine. So, what I am believing is, and here's kind of a better picture of it. Let me pull this one up and see. Oh, wait. Hold on a second. Uh, yeah, this is a much better picture. I don't know if you guys can see it there. Okay. But anyway, so what I'm believing is, from the picture, that this is kind of like the chips of the outside of the cannoli, and then this is the cream that you dip it in. Right? So, I'm very excited about this. I'm very, very excited about this. Okay. So... This is what they came in. You can see it's kind of oily, kind of greasy. So I'm not really that much into greasy food since I've gotten sick. So I probably won't like these a whole lot. But oh, they smell very sweet. So this is what it looks like when you open it. I'd say you get about 20 chips, probably. Oh, so they look kind of like little Doritos. 
and they have uh, like little powdered sugar on them and stuff like that. So I'm gonna eat one of these first without the cannoli cream and tell you what, what I think about it. Okay. Well, it kind of tastes like an elephant ear a little bit. Whenever I say that, there's always people that are like, you're a vegetarian, but you eat elephant ears. Okay. So, an elephant ear, Google it. It's something at the state fair. It's like, it looks like an elephant ear, but it's all made out of dough and it's got powdered sugar or cinnamon and things like that on it. You can get with different things. It tastes like an elephant ear. It really just tastes like the outside of a cannoli. If you've ever had cannoli before, you'll know what I'm talking about. It tastes like the outside of cannoli. So, let's take the other one. It's good though. It's sweet, but it's not like super, super sweet. Um, it kind of tastes a little bit like a Nella wafer, if that makes sense. You guys know what Nella wafers are? I love those. It's not super sweet for a cookie. It's just kind of a little bland. So let's try it with the cannoli cream, which the lighting is so bad today. I don't know why. Um, the cannoli cream is like holding up. I'm kind of surprised. Let's try a little bit of the cannoli cream by itself. Oh my God, that is so delicious. Oh my God, that is so good. Okay, so let's try it. Let's dip it in here. Boo Radley just came to visit. Hi, Boo Radley. You guys, oh my God. I'm gonna save this for tonight when I'm watching Manifest after my meeting. This is so good. It's not like super sweet. It's just like enough. And I think it's so fantastic that they gave me two of these things too because you don't need that much. Um, and I think it was like two or three dollars for this. You can see there's like this much in the bag. It's filled up. Oh wow, I'm so impressed. It was funny because I asked the guy that was helping me out. He was really, really nice. And I said, now have you had the cannoli chips before? And he was like, yeah, I've had them. And I go, what'd you think? And he goes, they're okay. He goes, like, they're not the greatest things in the entire world, but they're good. And I said, so you're telling me I shouldn't get them? And he goes, no, you'll like them. He goes, they're good. He goes, just not, that, not the greatest thing in the entire world. But I have to tell you, as far as, like, innovative and being creative, like, I would give these a five out of five. The taste is fantastic. I got them 24 hours ago. They're not stale. They're still, like, you know, hard and, and good. This stuff I've had on the counter for the last 24 hours, so I didn't want to put it in the refrigerator because I didn't want it to get too cold. It is holding up. I'm really, really impressed with this. I haven't been eating a lot of sweet stuff lately, but I'll probably have this tonight with a cup of hot tea while I'm watching Manifest. But I have to say, like, this is kind of like the perfect treat because it's not too sweet and it's not too much. Like, even if I ate the whole bag, I don't think that would be too much. You know what I mean? So this is perfect. I'm so impressed. Oh, my God. If you guys go to Piata, you have to try the cannoli chips, all right? Get them as a family and split them and try them and... Put your review in the comment section below and let me know what you think. Anyway, I love you guys and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.